What is this? It is not Monday Night Combat at all. It is in fact the Raymond Origins demo that is currently available on Steam. Doing something a little bit different here, going to go through some games that might have not gotten attention otherwise, and just uh, make them known to some people. This was released actually back in November on consoles, but it did not get a lot of attention and didn't sell very well. Probably because it was released around the time as a uh, new Call of Duty game, Skyrim, uh, you had Saints Row coming out, so it didn't get a lot of attention, but it is coming out on PC at the end of this month. It's going to be like $30, I think, a really good deal, considering the console versions sold for a full 60 I believe. But for those who do not remember Rayman, it was an old platforming series that started on the PlayStation 1. It had, uh, the first game was really good, the second one was a 3D platformer that was also considered very excellent. And after a while, he sort of had a third game, and then he sort of, sort of disappeared for a while, and then you had the, the Rabbid series that came out on the Wii. And they sort of took over the entire series for a while with their minigame things, to the point where Rayman himself actually removed from the, uh... After I think the second one or so, uh, Raymond himself was actually removed from the game as a whole and they just uh, focused on the rabbits. so it's nice to see uh, the character brought back into the, uh, I guess, the roots of the series. As you see here, it's uh, debuting a new engine from uh, Ubisoft that shows off these really pretty uh, hand-drawn graphics, uh, really fluid, well-animated, and just uh, some nice traditional platforming here. As you'll see here, uh, one hit kills you unless you grab a heart. So I'm going to grab a heart, get hit once, get hit again, and I'll die. So it plays it pretty close and uh, a, more of a challenging old school platformer. Another thing is the uh, collectibles here. Uh, yeah, those yellow, I think they're called the Lums. Got to grab those, and I'll be going up here in a second to show uh, Electoons. Right here is a little hidden passageway. And you kill the enemies in order to unlock that cage. And I've been really enjoying the game. I played the demo about three times now. And I think the reason I like it is because there's not a whole lot of platformers on PC outside of the uh, indie development. I know you have uh, Super Meat Boy, you have uh, VVV, VVV, and titles like that, but we haven't been getting a whole lot of nice commercial titles with uh, backed up with a nice publisher and all that. It's been a lot of just independent stuff, which has been good, but sometimes you want a, a really full title like this. And it really fills a uh, sort of a void we've been having on, on Steam and PC in general so far. Another big thing about this game is it also includes uh, multiplayer. I do not know if it's online, but you can definitely play on the same PC uh, of the four players co-op, which will make it probably a, uh, can get both more difficult and easier at the same time because you will not actually, uh, from what I've seen, you will not actually lose the. Uh, the level once you all four die at the same time, so and you can come back in once you've died if you have some uh, someone to uh, touch you. It's very similar to the if you're familiar with uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii that came back out a few years ago. The setup the setup there is uh, very similar to that. If you're familiar, if you want an idea of how it'll play, uh, fairly chaotic, but uh, if you cooperate, you can do some uh, pretty impressive stuff. Uh, you can, uh, I know you can grab onto each other, you can use each other as a sort of platform to get to other places. So, I'm kind of hoping that'll be, that'll have online capabilities. I, I tested it out on this PC. Uh, you won't see that here, but I did a uh, set of the controls for it, and it does work. But, I don't see it being very feasible as far as playing, you know, four people to one PC. But it's, it's mostly uh, focused on the uh, collection. Uh, I do not show it here, but there are some uh, shooter areas where you'll ride a ride a mosquito, and you'll uh, it becomes more of a vertical uh, scrolling shooter. So that pops up a little thing about uh, once a level or so, and you, you have options uh, to the play styles. Not so much the play styles, but if uh, the you know the shooter and all that. But I mean, if you want to just get through the levels. You can go through the levels. If you want to do this, what I'm doing right now, and grabbing everything, uh, there is a bonus level that opens up if you collected everything. I think each stage has a sort of a chase sequence in it. And if you complete that in each uh, world, you will open up the last level. And like you see here, by grabbing that big, uh, the big lum, I turn on the other ones to red, which gives a double lum uh, a little bit here. And I'm not going to do it here. I've done it before, but uh, if you grab enough of them, you unlock more elections at the end of the stage. And you'll see that right up here. Uh, this is where the stage will end. There's always one election at the end of the stage. I'm just gonna beat these guys up real quick. But yeah, as you see, just a lot, 
really beautiful graphics. I managed to record this in, I think, 1080p, so you can really see the detail there and how fluid the animation is. Uh, music's really great. I'll try to get that into this video so you can hear it. And that's the end of the stage right here. Just uh, break up the last uh, platform. As you see, there are uh, six in a stage. And here is the part where you will record your uh, record your total alum collection. At 150, you get one elect tune. 300, you get the other elect tune. Then 350, you get a little badge. I'm not sure if the badge does. Like I said, I, have, I play the game a little bit on Wii, but I do not own it myself. But uh, there you go. And like I said, it's entirely optional. If you don't want to, you know, bother with collecting stuff, you don't have to. Uh, the game is, you know, plenty of fun on its own. You got boss fights. Uh, the other level in the other two levels in this area are the shooter one and uh, a C one, which wasn't too fun, but it's okay as far as C levels go, I guess. And one last thing here, I'll show you. There are four characters you can play as. You can also unlock skins. Uh, here's the next level you can go to. And the demo is like I think. Uh, two and a half levels, um, more or less. The last level is sort of uh, it cuts off at the end of the boss fight. You get to you don't get to fight the boss itself; it just sort of cuts out there. But real quick, I'm just going to show you the characters here. You have the have these two guys right here. You have the, this guy right here, and there's a, you see in the middle a skin you can unlock if you get all the elect tunes in the demo. I've done it before, but it does not seem to save, so I can't show you that skin off. But you can unlock plenty of skins for each character, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you do give the game a chance. Like I said, demo is on Steam, and the game will come out in this month about 30 bucks.